Hey, what's up people? Pallav here from nothingwire.com and Vivo India today showed us two of their brand new phones, the Vivo V3 and the V3 Max. The V3 will be available for $79.80 and the V3 Max $23.980 soon. We do not have any dates yet, but the V3 has a 5-inch screen, the V3 Max as the name suggests is bigger and at a 5.5 inch screen we're talking about the v3 max we're going to talk about the uh, hardware and then the user interface and some of the performance and specs here the the v3 max is the bigger of the two vivo v3 and v3 max the v3 is 5 inch this one has a 5.5 inch screen not just that it also has a higher resolution full hd resolution with the same 8 mp front camera and then your other usual short keys and sensors and stuff and then your usual buttons and ports over there you can see uh, the power button volume rocker and then the 3.5 mm jack it has a nice metal aluminium body uh, looks and feels quite premium has a, a matte finish here so it won't attract a lot of fingerprints however the same cannot be said for the front that attracts lots and lots of fingerprints you have the 13 MP back camera here and the bump is almost negligible in fact only the protection is coming out the camera is kind of resides with the body and then the LED flash there you have a 360 degree fingerprint sensor there the vivo logo overall feels well, well quite light for a 5.5 inch device um, let's talk about the user interface so it has uh, Android obviously but vivo has its own skin on top of the android you have the, your usual google android apps over there you can see some of the in-house tools and then lots of third-party apps like facebook wechat wps office and those kind of things let's quickly go ahead and check out the 13 mp camera what i see here is that the camera tend to expose a bit more than usual you can see at least the metering and then the front camera an 8 MP camera but see the lag it lags quite a bit but it's bright enough yeah it's bright enough and shows quite a bit of detail of my face so detail wise it's good enough but lags nonetheless uh, overall it's a snappy user interface mainly thanks to the Snapdragon 652 chipset it also has 4 GB of RAM as compared to 3 GB on the uh, V3. It has 32 GB of RAM and supports micro SD up to uh, 128 GB. It also has a bigger battery, a 3000 mAh battery. So that, guys, is a quick look at the Vivo V3 Max. Uh, despite it being a 5.5 inch device, it um, well, uh, it does not sleep away, but it's kind of a big device. Uh, you can see all those thin bezels here, but these parts are quite big. So overall, it's a big device. That's the V3 Max. Thank you.